let's do another string manipulation example in Delphi. And so let's look at an example where we're going to actually replace all the characters with something. So let's go see what we can do for this example. So let's look, we've got a phrase over here and we're going to do a couple of examples of how we can manipulate this phrase and we want to replace one character. So what I've got here in the code is we've got the phrase that pays from the edit box. We got it into that variable, the phrase variable string. And I've asked the user to give me a letter. Just give me one letter, please, that I can replace. I want to replace that letter, please. So there we go. So we're going to enter in one letter. So if I type in the letter O, all the O's must be replaced with, let's say, an L because it's uh, or an X. It's replaced with the X. That probably sounds better. So what I'm going to do here is I've got the letter and I'm going to go, okay, so we're going to go, we're going to have a for loop that goes from the start of the phrase string, which is the first character, until how many characters are there in that, in that phrase? We don't know, but we do know the length of the phrase. So we're going to go from the start to the end. And what are we, are, what are we doing? We want to check if each letter in the phrase, now if this phrase is the whole phrase. How do I check the character one? Well, that would be square bracket one and character two would be square bracket two and character three would be square bracket three. So how do I get to each and in every individual character? Well, R is starting at one, the first character and going to the end. So in this case, square bracket R, this is going to refer to each and every individual character. A for loop from one to the length of the string and then we use the string square bracket R this is going to always refer to each and every individual character. So I want to check if this character is the same as my letter that I just asked the user to give me. If that's a match, those two match, then we have found a match. Then I want to, let's say it's an O, I want, there's the O, I found the O position to, I want to delete that O and then insert an X into that position. So I'm actually changing S phrase. So because I'm replacing one character and inserting one character, I'm not actually changing the length of the phrase. If I was just removing it, it would become a bit of a problem. But in this case, we are just simply replacing it. So I'm going to delete from the phrase that pays. At what position? Well, we are at position R at this point when we found the match. So delete at position R. How many characters do we want to delete? Well, we're only checking that one character, so we're only going to delete one character. So delete that one character. Okay, so then what will happen is it'll delete the O. So it'll be D N T. But now we want to put an X in there. We want to replace it. So we're going to insert. Now what does insert? This is what we are inserting. This is where we're inserting it, and this is the position. So also this is what we're inserting. This is the string we're inserting into, and this is the position where it must insert. So we want to insert a capital X. Where do we want to insert it to? We want to insert it into the phrase that pays. And where do we want? To? Well, it's at that position too that we had the O. So we want to put this X at the position too. But it's going to be different. It's going to be position R. So there we go, position R. So that's what's going to do. So this is going to run and it's going to go and replace all of that. And if we run it, it's not going to do anything. Why, why is it not? So we go and replace all the O's. And... And, but it's still there. Oh, but we, so S phrase we got from the edit box, but we never put the, the, we've changed S phrase here. We never put S phrase back into the edit box. So let's do our output here. So, hey, you know, that edit box that had S phrase, we have a new S phrase. So put this S phrase, we've changed it now. Go put this new S phrase, because S phrase is different now, because we deleted it and deleted some stuff from it and inserted stuff. Put that back into the edit box, because now it's different. So now let's have a look. Boom, boom. Replace. We want all the O's. And boom, all the O's are gone. Boom. And if I go replace all the L's. Oh, it sort of works. It's still a capital L. How do I make it? Oh, so if, if that's the case, then I'm just going to make sure when I compare them, then I'm always comp It must be for any uppercase. So I'm checking the uppercase version of this character. Must be the same as the uppercase version of this. So when I check them, I just make just convert them to uppercase, and then check them. Okay, but this is a letter. This might be a problem. Wait, is it? Boom. So we go. Let's try it. Let's replace all the L's. So just a small L. Boom. And all the L's, even the capital L, is replaced. And if I put an M, you'll see there's an M there. If I replace a small M. 
it still replaces all the capital M's. Boom. So there we go. So that it's working. So that replaces each individual, each and every individual character. So there we go. So that's what you can do. Okay. So obviously we, we are hopefully that they're only typing in one character. You can write some error checking over here to check that the length of S letter is a one. Otherwise they obviously didn't type in the letter. So you could do that. I'll, I'll show you a little trick here. Repeat asking them for a letter until the length of S letter equals one that way they're going to keep get asking for one character until the length is one so you could do something like that too so it's going to keep asking them boom, boom, boom. i'll show you quickly boom. so ask him oh uh, no that's not good enough uh, not good enough not good enough one letter there we go and that works better for them okay so there we go okay so that's one way of doing it um, here we want to replace all the letters. So I'm going to replace all the letters with L's and I'll replace all the non-letters with X's. So all the punctuation and spaces must be... And no, let's keep the spaces as spaces and let's, all other punctuation must be a P. Let's say do that, a P. So let's do that. So on this button, we're going to do the same thing. We get the phrase. We're not asking them for a particular letter. We're just going to go, okay, for R equals... One until the length of the phrase that pays. Why do I keep saying the length of the phrase that pays? I don't know. So what am I doing here? So first of all, I'm going to first check if it's a letter. And we did something similar. If it's a letter, it's something similar to this. I'm just going to copy this. Boom, boom, boom. You know what? Boom. If the letter that we're looking for you don't even need to look for uppercase. If it's if S letter is one of the letters of the alphabet, so I'm going to use the set notation. If it's in a small a to small z, so if it's in that list, or if it's in the capital A to capital Z, if it's in that list, if R, R, S phrase R, each letter is one of those in that list or that list. Remember in, if you're not too sure, go watch our video on how to do an in. If it's in that list, if this is true, then delete that letter and replace it with an L. That's the one option. The other option is if it's a space. If S phrase R is equal to a quote, space, quote. Remember, it must be a space. If else, where's my else? Else, if it's that, then we're not going to do anything. So I'm not going to replace it. So if it's not equal to a space then we want to take away the character and add in a, punctu it's a, a punctuation. So we can do something similar if it's not a space. So if it's a letter, it replace with L. But if it's anything but a space, then delete it and we're going to replace it with a P for punctuation. So L's will be, letters will be L's and P's will be punctuation. You can even add an extra feature for add, checking for numbers. It would be an N if you want to be very fancy. So, and if it's a space, it's just going to leave it alone so that we can do that. And then obviously once we've done this, that will have changed S phrase. So let's go. So then we need to do our output. We need to say, hey, we've changed S phrase. So that edit box that's displaying S phrase, we want to display the new S phrase. So if the letter is a, if, if the character is a letter, then replace it with an L. But if it's, if it's not a space, replace it with a P. And if it was a space, it would do nothing, which means it would leave it alone. Let's try that. And replace all the characters. There. All the letters are L's and all the punctuations are P's. There we go. That's fantastic. Okay. So last example. Let's, let's, how do we remove a character? So I'm going to add a little button here. Boom. And we're going to make it into a remove. So I quickly went and added the button quickly. So remove one character. In other words, when I select the O, I want to remove the O from the string. I must actually just take it away. Now, this is slightly different. Now, if I look here. So it's very similar to what we did with removing one character so, or replacing one character. There we replace it. So we got the phrase and we asked for the letter that we want to to remove in this case. So we're going to go from each and every character. The problem with this, all of this is all good. The problem is if I delete the character, I'm obviously not inserting anything. So if I insert, if I take the insert, we just delete from that position one. And then at the end of this, we display. You can see it's not, I don't think it's going to work properly. Edit phrase dot text must be, we've obviously deleted from the phrase. So we need to put that phrase back in there, please. Okay. 
So there we go. So we deleted the character. There we go. So that's what you think makes sense. So if we type in the letter O, so the letter O, we want to remove all the O's. So let's have a look. Did it remove all the O's? It looks like it did. Okay. But what happens if I've got a string like this bookkeeper and I replace one, remove one character and I put the O in this case? Do you see it didn't remove all of them? It, it, it skipped one. How did it, why did it skip one? Because when we delete it, we're actually changing the length of the, of the phrase. So now this is going right to the end. It's, it's not referring to the right positions anymore. So what I prefer to do, when you actually, in, in our replace example, we were replacing one character with one character. So the length wasn't changing. In this case, the length is changing. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a new string called snoo. And I'm going to initialize snoo to the nothing string, the null string. It's nothing. And instead of replacing the character, I'm just going to add onto s new the characters we want. So we're basically looking for when it's not an O. So if I, I want to build the string again, and if I'm looking for the letter O, when I find an O, I don't want to add it. But if I do, if I want anything that's not an O, add on that letter. So I'm actually looking for when it's not equal to that letter all the characters that are not that letter then i want to take new take whatever's in it and add this letter r to it this phrase r so let's think about this do not let's think about do not okay is the d an o no it's not so we want to add the d onto s new so s new will have a d attached to it then i get the letter o is o an o yes it is so i don't want to do anything so leave it out so then it moves on to letter three. Is is the space an O? No, it's not. So add the space on to add a space. Is the N an O? No, it's not. So it'll add the N. Is the O an O? Yes, it is. So it won't do this. It'll stop. So S new is basically being constructed without all the letters like that. Okay. And then when we display S phrase, we're actually not displaying s phrase in the edit box anymore because we didn't change s phrase we changed s new s new is the new thing okay so let's try that so we went from one to the length one until the end if the character is not what we're looking for we're looking for the o's because we want to remove them but we we basically building the string and excluding the o's you don't exclude your friends but you can exclude the o's in this case so exclude the o we're not adding the o on when we find it we just add the other characters and in that case, sorry, when we replace one letter, if I replace the O, it replaces all the O's. And if I had the word bookkeeper, which had multiple O's next to each other, and replace the O in that case, you see I got rid of all the O's, and I get rid of all the K's, and all the E's, until there's nothing left, basically. So that's what you can do. So that's how you can be careful of when you're replacing things. If, you, if you're replacing one for one, then you can just insert and delete. But if you're making the string actually shorter or modifying its length, you might need to make a new string and just add onto that string. Okay, hopefully this has been useful for you. For the other videos in the series on string handling, go look in the description. You'll see links to them there, as well as the playlists. Leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.